Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will see the permutation in string problem which is from lead code day 18 of the May challenge. So let us now look at the problem statement. The problem says that given two strings s1 and s2, write a function to return true if s2 contains the permutation of s1. In other words, one of the first strings permutation is the substring of the second string. So let us now look at some examples in order to get a better understanding. So let us assume that we are given two strings s1 and s2. Now a string s1 is cab and string s2 is as given. Now our objective is to find whether there is any permutation of this string s1 which is occurring as a substring of this string s2. Now if we are given two strings let's say s1 and s2 and if there is some permutation of s1 such that we can convert this s1 to s2 then we can say that s1 and s2 are anagrams of each other. So s1 and s2 will be anagrams if any one combination of s1 can form s2 or vice versa. So if you can convert s1 to s2 by changing these letters that is by juggling these letters by any combination of this s1 to s2 then these two will be anagrams. Or you can also say that if you can convert s2 to s1 by just changing the places of these letters then they both will be anagrams. Now this question gets converted to find if any substring of S2 is anagram of S1. So we have converted our problem of finding the combination of S1 in a substring of S2 to finding if there is any anagram of S1 contained in S2. So I hope you got the problem statement now. So for S1 and S2 to be anagrams, S1 and S2 must be of equal length. And S1 and S2 must be having the same frequency of all the corresponding unique characters. So let us say our S1 is CAB and our S2 is ABC. So the first condition is that they must be of same length. The second condition is that the unique characters must be the same. So in the first string you can see that unique characters are CAB. In the second string as well unique characters are CAB. So they both are same. Now the third condition is the frequency of all the corresponding unique characters should also be equal. So in this case ABC is having frequency 111 and in this case as well ABC is having frequency 111. Therefore all the unique characters are having the same frequency. So if these three conditions are sufficed then we can say that string S1 and S2 are anagrams of each other. So in this case we are given string S1 and we are given a larger string string S2. And we want to find if there is any combination of this S1 that is we want to find if there is any anagram of S1 lying as a substring in S2. It can be the entire string S2 if they both are of same length. So in this case as you can see if S2 is of lower length than S1 then it will not be possible to find anagrams. Because for an anagram to exist in S2, S2 should be at least of the length of S1. So for solving these type of problems we generally apply sliding window technique because we need to maintain the size of the window. So in this case we will apply the same technique let us say S1 is CAB and S2 is DBA BCD. Now we will find whether there is any combination of S1 present as a substring in S2. So in this case let us find it. So what I will do is I will create two hash functions. So in the question it was mentioned that all the letters will be lowercase and it will be from A to Z. So our alphabet size is basically 26. So we will take a hash of size 26. Here I have shown only size 4 from 0 to 3 because I have taken characters from A to D only. But in real case it will be 26 characters. So what I will do is I will first pre-process this S1 that is I will keep the frequency of each and every character in this S1 hash. Similarly, I will take an S2 hash and I will calculate the frequency of the first window DBA. So this is A, B, C, D. So I have filled DBA with frequency 111 and C with 0. Now we will compare this S1 hash with S2 hash. So if they are same, then we will return true. Otherwise we will process the rest of the windows. So in this case S1 hash and S2 hash are not equal. So we will have to slide this window. So this window will be slided and this B will get included. So for this new included element we will increment the frequency count of B and it will now be 2. And we are leaving out this D. So the frequency of D will be decremented by 1. So 1 minus 1 will be 0. 
Now we will compare again S2 hash with S1 hash, they are not equal. So we will again slide to the next window. So this B will be gone and this C will be added. So for adding this C, we will increment its count by 1 and this B is gone, so we will decrement its count by 1. So this will be 1. Now we will again match this S1 hash with S2 hash. Now you can see that S1 and S2 hash are both equal. So we will simply return true, saying that we found an anagram of S1 in S2. So this is a very simple process and if you cannot find by sliding the entire windows, then you will simply return false at the end, saying that there is no anagram of S1 present as a substring of S2. So what is the time complexity in this case? Actually, we are traversing this S2 string entirely and then for each of the character slide we are actually matching this entire hash which is of length 26 in this case this is the alphabet size so the time complexity will be equals to alphabet size multiplied by length of s2 so this is the total time complexity now let us look at the code now this code is exactly similar to the code which i wrote for finding all the anagrams of string s1 in string s2 which occurred the previous day so in this code as I have already explained I have taken two hashes S1 hash and S2 hash and I have calculated both the lengths and if S1 length is greater than S2 length then there cannot be any anagram of S1 in S2 so we will simply return false otherwise we will calculate the first window this is just for pre-processing the first window hash so we have two hashes and we are pre-calculating the first window and storing it now we will use the sliding window technique and we will slide one character at a time and will keep updating the values. So I have taken a left pointer as well as a right pointer to keep track of the boundary elements of the window. So while processing using this sliding window technique, if we can find that S1 hash is equal to S2 hash at some point, then we will simply return true. Otherwise, if by sliding through the entire string S2, we cannot find S1 hash equals to S2 hash, then we will simply return false saying that there is no anagram of S1 occurring as a substring of S2. So I hope you were able to understand this simple approach. If you have any other approach or solution in different languages then please post below so that everyone can take benefit from it. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video. See you in our next video. Thank you.